moves the trapezoidal rule to estimate the area of the region shown below. All measurements are in meters. So we just need to first of all figure out our h. The h is the gap between the bar or the interval. That's our 20 here. So that's going to stand for our h. So it's going to be a standing for approximate area is equal to 20 over 2, always divided by 2 because it's getting the average of the two intervals. And then my y1 and my yn are my first and last height. Again, you go to the extreme left-hand corner, so my first height is going to be 0. You can see that there's not a vertical bar going up there. It's a squiggly line coming down to it. So our height there will be 0. And our last height is also 0. So that's going to be y1 plus yn is 0 plus 0 plus 2 times. So that 2 is going to be multiplied by my y2 my y3, my y4, and so on. So that's my second bar, my third bar, and my fourth bar. Now, the only difference here is that you can see here that it's a back-to-back -back, uh, irregular shape. So what you can do, there's two options here. You can do it separately. You can do the top half with the trapezoidal rule, do the second half with a separate formula, and then add them together. But what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add the two heights together. So I'm going to basically add the 12 and the 14 together, and that's getting me up to 20... Uh, 6. So my y2 is 26. My y3 is going to be the 20 plus the 12, which is getting me up to 32. My y4 is going to be the 23 plus the 26, which is 49. My next height is going to be the 17 plus the 22, which is 39. And finally, my yn minus 1, which is my second last height, which is going to be the 14 and the 18 put together. So I add them and I get 32. So that's my formula filled in. So my approximate area is going to equal to 20 divided by 2, which is 10, times 0 plus 0 is 0 plus 2 times. Again, follow your rules of BIMDAS here. Don't add the 0 to the 2. And when I add 26, 32, 49, 39, and 32 together, I'm getting 178. My next step now is going to be multiplying that 2 into the 178, and 2 multiplied by 178 is 356. So area is approximately equal to 10 times 0 plus 356. When I add 0 and 356 together, I get 356. And now I'm going to multiply in that 10, and I get 10 multiplied by 356. So the approximate area of this shape is 3,560 meters squared. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.